Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another art journal video. In my latest art journal videos, I have been working with the stamps from the Theories stamp set and I'm trying to make the most out of it, so I have already used stamps from this set in two pages as you can see here and there are videos for those. And today I'm going to make a third page using the same style and this time I'm going to use the guy with the balloon. So, since everything is going to be kind of a set, I am using the same method like I did in the previous uh, pages. So, I am using my alcohol inks over Yupo paper. I have applied first my ink blending solution, then applied a couple of colors and now I am blowing with my straw. I am working on a big Yupo paper and once I am happy with the outcome, I am going to stop, leave it alone to dry and then I am going to use my paper trimmer to cut it out since this background is going to end up in my 6x6 disc bound journal. So here is my outcome and at this point it is quite sticky, especially where those uh, uh, the ink is concentrated. So I'm going to remove the stickiness by applying on top uh, my foiling. This is a lovely technique, it adds uh, such a random uh, shine in different areas and it really brings uh, another layer of uh, interest on your pages. And I used golden foil since it matches nicely with all the colors that I have on my page. Now I'm going to add more visual interest on my background by adding some stamping. This time I'm using alcohol ink. I have found that alcohol ink stamps great on top of Yupo paper and it doesn't smudge. I'm working with stamps that add texture on my page and uh, I'm using sepia archival ink which matches nicely with uh, my background and it's not very vibrant. So just another layer there. And now I'm going to go ahead and start stamping, this time with black archival ink, to have a more vibrant look. And I'm mainly going to stamp around the edges to create a lovely frame from my project. I'm not going for the perfect uh, stamp impression here and I don't even care if I stamp upside down the words. These are not meant to be read, uh, they are just there for a visual interest. And as I'm doing that, just to remind you that as always you will find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Now the stamps that I'm using now are from the Etcetera stamp set and this is another stamp set that I have been using again and again. I am making the most out of this stamp set as well. And um, you have probably seen me using this uh, stamp set in the last 3 or 4 uh, art journal videos. And here is the guy with the balloon from the Theories stamp set and I'm going to stamp him on my page directly using black archival ink. Now I'm making sure that I apply enough black archival ink since my ink pad I think is quite dry and I'm not going to stamp a second time. I want this to be kind of in the background and if I stamp a second time all those letters and uh, the grunginess at the background is going to be very vibrant which I don't want to. So I am going to remove this background and I am going to place another page inside, just some scrap uh, paper there and I am going to stamp this one more time. This time I am going only for the main focal point which is the, the guy with the balloon. I used my stamping platform to stamp him a couple of times to get a really solid black image and now I'm using my scissors to fuzzy cut him. This way I will be able to pop him on my page and he is really going to stand out against all those black letters that are in the back of this stamp. So here is some leftover from a previous project. These are alcohol links on Hupo paper. So I used a circle to cut out a little balloon. I am inking up the edges with my jet black alcohol ink and just like I did with my previous pages in this same style, I am going to again use some design tape in different colors. Again I looked through my uh, design tapes to find uh, colors of uh, tapes that match the colors of my background. I am going to embellish it a little bit in different areas, just stacking them together create different layers. And this way I am grounding this guy somehow so he doesn't look as if he is floating on my page. 
And here I go again, just like I did with the previous two pages. I am preparing the main page from my disc bound uh, journal by adding some uh, acrylic paint, black acrylic paint, all around the edges. This is going to create a lovely black border, which is going to frame my page nicely. I'm sticking my Yubo paper on top of my page and I actually use strong double-sided tape to do that. On my pages I always like to have different textures if possible, so I'm going to thread some flaws and this is going to be the string for my balloon. To secure the string I'm just going to tie a knot at the back and I'm also going to add a piece of uh, tape but uh, of course if you don't want to have this at the back you should have done it before you stick the Yubo paper on top of your uh, page which I didn't think of uh, at that point. Now I get a lot of questions about the back of my pages and what I'm planning to do with them. To tell you the truth, and I said it in a previous video as well, I really, I'm not really bothered with the back of my pages. Uh, the joy of uh, creating is in the front and I don't really care what's going on at the back. But probably I will color them black at uh, the end when my book is finished. So I have my guy popped on the page by using some uh, tape adhesive at the back and I'm doing the same thing with the balloon. I love the dimension that I got on this page and how this guy actually pops against that uh, black text uh, stamping at the back. Now I'm going to add my sentiment and again I'm using these uh, quote chips and I went with the one that says dreamer of dreams so I'm going to play around with it, decide where I want this to go. I'm making up the edges and I have some double-sided tape at the back and just place it on my page. So I'm going to call this done and now all I have to do is to put the page back on my disc-bound journal and here are the two pages that I already made using the same stamp set and I'm going to make sure to link to those two videos at the end of this one in case you want to check them out. And that was the project for today, I hope that you had fun and got inspired to create with alcohol inks your backgrounds. I still have this stamp here that I haven't tried. Let me know in the comments if you want to see another page in this same style using the last of those stamps in the theory stamp set. So here are some close-up photos, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.